Welcome to my channel. It's your girl, the nice Chantel. If you're new and you want to become a part of the family and the crew, just make sure you hit that subscribe button below. But if you're returning, oh my gosh, thank you so much for your unconditional support because you are well one for keep coming back and viewing my shit. <laughs> but so today's video, if you're looking at the title, you already know what it's going to be about. But today's video will be about how to pass anatomy and physiology to in microbiology with an A while taking them at the same exact time. Okay, this is actually proof of me passing all my classes with an A and my lowest um, score was a 94. Let me get right to the topic, what y'all here for. So, I'm, well, I took Anatomy and Physiology 2 and Microbiology at the same time this semester, fall 2019, and I passed both of them with an A. I passed the lecture and the lab both with an A and those were two separate grades. So I got four A's this semester basically. My science GPA right now, well overall right is a 4.0 because I made a 97, I passed anatomy and physiology one in the summertime in the lab with an A as well. So right, right now my science GPA is a 4.0. A lot of programs only look at your anatomy, anatomy and physiology and microbiology those courses are really important so the deets about how to pass both of the classes with an A and the labs with an A and if you're working full-time like I was this definitely should be able to assist you as well so the number one is you must attend all classes Attend all of your classes. I don't know how to stress how important it is to go to class. Do not miss class at all. If you're going to run late, still go to class. Try not to miss class because you're going to miss so much more information if you miss one day of class. That's like missing a week of class. A week of, yeah, a week of class. One day is equivalent to missing a whole week of class. So go to class. The number two is get a planner. Yes, get a planner because your professor will give you when the stuff is due at the beginning of the semester. Sometimes they do change dates around, but hey, you'll be able to adjust to it. But if you have a planner, you know when you will have your first test, your second test, when this assignment is due, so you won't procrastinate on your work at all. It helps to stay organized and organization is key in passing both of these classes with an A. Just because you'll know when, just because you'll know when you have to study, when you need to study, when you have this assignment due, when this is, just get a, get a planner. Just get a planner because it will help you so much. The third thing is when you're in class, pay attention. Turn off your cell phone for that class period. No distractions at all. I turned off my cell phone completely when I went to class. I don't have any kids. My family really isn't that close to where I stay right now. They're two hours away almost. And if it was an emergency with them, it would at least take me two hours to get there. So, not trying to say anything, but just make sure you don't have any distractions while you're in the class. Because you want to understand, retain the information that your professor is going over. Another one is ask questions. If you think it is the stupidest question, ask it. You may look stupid asking the question, or you may think... It sounds stupid asking the question, but I'm pretty sure that some of your other classmates probably are thinking that same question, but too scared to ask it. I don't care. I asked so many questions. My professor got tired of me because I was asking questions, honestly. Ask questions. The um, next one is 
do not procrastinate on studying like at all don't procrastinate if you have a test an example say that you just finished chapter 15 on the integumentary system or something and your test for chapter 13 through 15 is next week and you're beginning new information that same day that you just finished whatever section make sure while you're still beginning your new information make sure you're studying for that section as well as studying for the next section because it will help you in the long run you you'll be like ahead of the game and another tip is also at least study at least two hours minimum per class per class even if you don't have anything to do that week for that class or the following week for that class still study because like I said in the previous tip it will put you ahead of the game I studied maybe from 9 to 12 well no 8 to 12 every day most of the time for this entire semester there was some days where I just didn't feel like studying and I get that you're gonna have those days where you just don't care and you don't want to study and you don't want to look at this material because you're having a meltdown I get that because I had plenty of them this semester it's okay just breathe but don't go studying a whole week without well don't go without studying for a whole week don't procrastinate oh you have a test on Wednesday and you just start studying on Sunday sis unless you good at memorizing information just that and retaining it you're not gonna do well on that test and my last well not my last but another tip is actually don't just memorize the information retain it because if you're memorizing the information, you're just memorizing it for that particular time setting. If you retain the information, you will remember it in the future. And just think about, you if you're trying to get into a nursing program or anything, most likely you're going to have to take the ATITs or the Kaplan or the HESI. And it will make it easier for you on the science portion if you retain the information your study you won't have to put that much effort into studying it would be more so of a refresher instead of actually studying for months just for this portion just because you forgot the information make sure you retain retain the information and my last tip for you guys is believe in yourself believe that you're going to get an a in that class believe that you're going to do well in that class believe that you're going to make an a on those tests Believe that you're going to be successful in both of these classes. And I know I wasn't really mentioning microbiology, but the tips that I gave for anatomy and physiology are the same tips for microbiology as well. Just make sure you got to have confidence in yourself. Like, know that you got to kill that shit and you got to get accepted into any program that you apply to. Because you want to do well in these classes because it makes you more of it gives you more of an advantage over other applicants that may a B or a C in the class honey we're not selling them for B's or C's we getting them A's because we're trying to get into a program and we're trying to be competitive like yes you got to be competitive don't settle for a B like don't at all but um those are my tips for you guys on how to pass anatomy and physiology and microbiology with an A. So if you like this video, just make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment below on what type of content you would like to see. And also don't forget to share this video. Tell your friends to subscribe to my channel. Alrighty, and turn all those post notifications. Okay, so you'll remember when I post. Alright, thank you guys again for tuning in. See you next time.